Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the best dip that you will ever put in your mouth. I call it my diabetes dip. Not because it's for diabetics, but because it's so good that you'll eat so much of it that you'll get diabetes. Now this is what you're gonna need first. You're gonna need two eight ounce packs of Heath Bits of Brickle. It just rolls off your tongue, it's so good. You're gonna need two packets, eight ounce cream cheese. Make sure you get cream cheese and not sour cream. I screwed up and did that one time. It made for a horrible dip. Brown sugar. You're gonna need one cup. Sugar, regular old sugar. One cup. Also gonna need pure vanilla extract. You can use imitation vanilla extract if you want, but that comes from a beaver's booty hole. So if you wanna eat dip with beaver booty hole juice in it, be my guest. But you're gonna need two teaspoons of it. Also gonna need a big bowl, your mixer. And of course you gotta have something to dip in it. Get you some Granny Smith apples. So Dale Jr. Jr. heard that I was making apple dip, so he had to come in here and help me. <laughs> now, my assistant Dale Jr. Jr. will do this one. Hop her on in there. Look at that, look at that. All right, you're getting ahead of yourself there, son. We gotta put our bits of brickle in there now, boy. All right, pour that in there, boy. Make sure you put it in the bowl. There you go, good job. One cup of brown sugar, ladies and gentlemen. Take one cup of regular. Cocaine, okay, it ain't cocaine, it's sugar. All right, don't be dumping cocaine in your apple dip. All right, pour that one in there. Make sure you got it over the Look, this is what we're looking like so far. See there, looking good, looking good. All right, last but not least, vanilla extract, two teaspoons. Two. Two. And vanilla. Now, let me do this, because it, we spill it, we'll be in trouble. All right, there's our two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Hey, we get to stir it up. I stick her on in there. Uh-oh, look at her. Fell out. I was made in China. If it was made in America, it wouldn't have done that. Now, Junior Junior's stirring her dip up here. We'll take your starter there. Stir it up real good. Can I taste it? Yeah, once we get her done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what your end product should look like here. Now, of course, the last step is cutting up your Granny Smith apples. After you cut them up, you don't want them to turn yellow. So get you some lemon juice, squirt it in there with your apples, be good to go. Them apples ain't gonna last long anyway because you're gonna go through them, I'm telling you right now. Now that you got your apples all cut up, it's time to enjoy the dip. Now you wanna get you a nice, good chunk of that on there. Let me go ahead and tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna eat a whole lot of this apple dip, which means you're gonna eat a whole lot of these apples. These apples got a lot of fiber in them, which means that the next day, you're going to be pulling a waterfall, all right? You ain't going to realize how many apples you eat because you enjoyed it too much, all right? So you're going to go through some apples. You're going to almost poo yourself to death, but it's worth it because this dip is so good. And actually, after the first day, your body gets used to it and you don't poo as much. Enjoy the dip. God bless y'all. I love you.